Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this video we're going to take a look at the third recording option we've got available to us inside Reaper and show you how versatile this is for creating multiple punch points. So let's take a look at how that all works. So as you can see I've already got a session open in Reaper and we've got one track expanded and that's the track we're going to work with. So the first thing we need to do is set our track up to work the way we need it to for this particular recording mode. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, at what we need to cover. So at this point in time I've got one entire track, this is one WAV file already set out. Now for this particular method of recording to work we need to actually have some points in our track that we've split. Let's take a look at how we do that first of all and then we'll see how we can use this particular option to record. So the first thing I'm going to do is just choose my snip tool and I'm just going to slice this track in a couple of places. Okay, I'll turn that back off. So now we've got a couple of slices, or a couple of different sections of our WAV file. All could be selected. So the next thing we need to do is change our record mode from what is currently set to, which is the normal mode, and switch it over to auto punch selected items. So now if we just select an item, move the playhead to the position where I want, arm the track, let's just move that back a little further, arm the track and hit the record option, we'll now see it'll go through, nothing will happen until we get to the point we've got selected and then we'll start recording and once we go past that, we're on to the next section. So that's all pretty cool. but. It doesn't really do a huge amount for us. We could do exactly the same thing just by using the time selection with the, the time selection auto punch mode. Where this becomes more useful is when we start to think, well, okay, we need a couple of different parts of this track need to be re-recorded. We need to drop in some additional takes on certain parts. And we can do that. So let's just undo these. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just s select a couple of different parts that we've got within our recording. So what I'm going to do is hold the, shift, the control key down or the command key on the Mac. And we've now got two parts of our recording selected. So let's put, put the playhead back a little bit before and do the same thing again. We've got the track armed. I'll just hit the record button and we'll see what happens. Okay, hit the record and save as last time. Our first take is being dropped in. Then we'll move over to the part we don't want to edit. And then finally, when we get to the second section, will automatically start recording in that section as you can see. So this is a great way of using multiple punch in points without having to do them one at a time. So it allows you to get your flow and it's a great way of working and obviously the more takes you do the more they'll show with their own individual track section and we end up with a lot of takes which we can then choose between. But it gets even more flexible. Let's just undo all those things. I'm just going to add a couple more points in a second. Just going to slice our track a few more times. Just so we've got some smaller sections to work with. Okay, so we've now got a couple of parts we can work with. And let's do the same thing again. Let's select one, hold the command or control key down, and select some more parts. Put the playhead where I want it to start. Okay, there's one other thing we want to do now, and that's create a selection. So if I now select an area that encompasses the three points that we want to work with to punch in and out, we've now created a small time section or time selection within our overall recording. Now if I hit the loop and then hit record, we'll find that that'll do exactly what we expected to do, which is just drop in and punch those little areas that we want in within our recording. But because we want to have multiple passes at this and not have to go back to the start and then hit record again and go over and over, over again, this will now loop and allow us to do multiple passes while punching in automatically in the areas we've selected to give us a very versatile way of creating multiple punch in points on our recordings and then go through and do multiple takes very quickly and very easily. So that's the third recording mode we got available to us inside Reaper. It's a very flexible way of working and allows you to do a lot with a little amount of effort. It's a great way of working. Try it out. Let me know how you get on with it. If you found this useful and you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button below. Until next time, take care.